So this one is from Indonesia. Woman breaks down as she is publicly whipped 100 times from, for having premarital sex with her boyfriend in Indonesia. Fuck Indonesia. God damn it. Uh, and again, I just want to, before I read the story, I just want to remind people that Indonesia is the country that is often used as an example of how moderate and liberal and modern, you know, an Islamic country could be. Indonesia and Malaysia are often given as, a, as an example and let people see that, okay, if Indonesia is, the, is what the best that, uh, that we could expect from an Islamic country, if this is the best, this is what's happening. Is w women is being, break, being broken down by 100 lashes just because she had sex before marriage. This is fucking insane. Okay, let me read the story. What the fuck, Indonesia? And again, I don't think this is this is a second. Uh, this is a specific um, part of Indonesia that is worse than the rest. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. So the so it says a woman cried as she pleaded with a masked Sharia officer. That that word just fucking scares me, especially because. I'm, I'm from Iran and we had the religious, you know, moral police there, you know, Sharia officer. This is so, oh my God. Okay. So a woman cried as she pleaded with the masked Sharia officer to stop whipping her in a public ceremony in Indonesia's deeply conservative, I think I'm pronouncing this right, Aceh province. Yeah. I think it's Aceh province. This is the province where all the fucking Islamic shit, shit happens in, in Indonesia. Okay? It's the Aceh province. Some, I can't believe, like, how is the rest, list of, the rest of Indonesia lets this province? I don't know how Indonesia's politics works, but apparently you get to have different laws. Um, anyways, it's just this, this Aceh province that is like that, I think. I'm not sure if the other provinces are like this. So this was on July 31, so this was around 11 days ago. The 22-year-old woman who was being punished for having premarital sex was among three people who were publicly whipped 100 times. Uh, dozens of people watched as the two men and the woman, so it basically was three people, two, two men and one woman. But the woman basically broke down and she was crying and begging to, for her to stop were canned in a stadium in, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, this is a location, uh, 170 miles from the provincial uh, capital. Flogging is used as a punishment for a range of offenses in the region uh, at the tip of Sa Sumatra Island, including, okay, so the flogging is used for these crimes. These are the crimes that you get you flogged. Gambling, drinking alcohol, um, and having gay sex or relationships out of marriage. Okay, well, well, fuck it. I mean, this is a, this is insane. I mean, isn't isn't Indonesia part of like United uh, signatory to the United Sta United Nations Human Rights? I don't know whatever. Like, is is the UN like raising shit about this, or is it just like yeah, whatever? Like, I don't understand. Can I mean, somebody... United States Human Rights Council United is Nations. like it's already shitty. I mean, Saudi Arabia is even a member. Yeah, is that yeah? They actually made. <laughs> <laughs> the Saudi Arabia, the head of the Human Rights Council. I mean, I don't understand. This is this forever is going to be a joke that is. I don't understand. But wait, are we still going? Let me see what the top comment is. Are we still good on the YouTube live chat? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ash is saying yeah. they knew the law, and oh my God, this is what the top comment is. Holy fuck. It's a top comment because it got a lot of angry reaction, not because people like liked it. Ash is saying they knew the law and got caught. Whatever. These are, are the, the people that think that you should just follow the law. What, whatever. Are I don't, uh, like, are these the people? Are these do these people are like? Oh my god! Do, would they support like you know? The, you see uh, when when you know slavery, for example. When slaves when ran they, away, take slavery, take burning of atheists and scientists, take stoning of gay people. Like, yeah, that was those all, are all the law. Those were all legal, and some are still even legal in some 
countries. Oh fucking yes. hell! Who's this guy? Ash E. Larry. You should be a sh- where are you? you're in New York. Such a fucking ah oh, god damn it! This guy makes me angry. Do you, you, he lives in a country where most of the laws are just compared to other countries, and he's enjoying laws that are protecting him, laws that are based on enlightenment values, laws that is giving him rights, freedom to speak, freedom to being represented in the government, enjoys democracy, enjoys safety, has the police and the you know fire station and everybody protecting him, and and gets and has the uh, arrogance to tell somebody that is living in a country with unjust laws that hey you should have followed the laws well fuck you ash fuck you let me see there's a, somebody is responding uh never mind i'm not gonna go through the responses seriously in the, in the youtube youtube live chat james is saying like actually is Aceh province in Indonesia, they gave religious scholars autonomous control over that peninsula. Yeah, and I heard that there's a lot of Saudi influence there. There's a lot of Saudi, they're sending, they're sending a lot of people there to even increase the influence. Dude, in both Indonesia and Malaysia are getting more Islamic. This, is either, this shows that, this to me shows that forget reforming Islam, right? Even like, if you look at Egypt, if you look at Iran, if you look at Turkey, if you look at Indonesia, if we look at Malaysia, these are countries that remain Islamic and went through a period of modernization and like, oh, like in like, but because they were Islamic, they, they got sucked back in there, right? When you, when you, when Islam is dying and you think like it's harmless right now, don't be fooled by it. As long as you have Islam, you're, you have a tumor, you have, it's like a tumor, it's like cancer, it could come back, okay? You have to completely get rid of it, okay? A country like Malaysia, this is a first world country, Indonesia, these are advanced modern countries. And because they're Islamic, they're going backwards, okay? If you have Islam, you have, you have a disease. Even if it's not harming anybody right now, your country is Islamic, you have a problem. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fuck you up at some point. Uh, Amruta is saying, oh, improvement. No stoning until death, I see. God really works in mysterious ways. Actually, it's not an improvement because Indonesia didn't have stoning. Uh, it went from not having these lashes to having these lashes right now. Okay, let me see. Um, what else? Hmm. John is saying this Bronze Age existence is hugely popular there, so I really have no sympathy. Why? How could you have no sympathy to a woman being whipped? For for why? Why would you have no sympathy? Who are these people? Either you go along with the program or you get into the time machine, buy an air ticket, airline ticket, and travel to the 21st century. So these people think, so bizarre. These, where are you from, John? Let me see what country you're from. Okay, it doesn't say. Uh, but the, again, it seems like he's from a, one of these. I, yeah, I bet he's from a first world country. Like yeah, yeah. Not this, everyone can afford an airplane ticket. No, but this guy that's, thinks that's you need... the first thing that comes to mind. Yeah, but the thing is that these people actually are enjoying their lives because other people were suffered and risked their lives and, they, and now they're asking other people to just follow the law. Fucking hell. Um, in fact, you, it's, 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 if, if the laws are, un- are unjust, we need people to break the law. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, 
Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.